Hello everybody at sea, welcome back to you Surviving Mars Below and Beyond. In the last video, started building up the dome to actually have that available as my first round of colonists arrive. However, I am looking at a couple of things as I go up far from operational domes. And we're on. Got a perfect power balance right now, and we're hoping to alleviate that with the couple machine parts from a large wind turbine. Founder stage oh, has oh. started. I'm just going to go ahead and kick past that. New colonists have arrived. Okay. Here come the colonists. They're running straight into the dome. Yeah, comfort is not high for these folks, and I probably could have gotten away just slapping down a living complex. Okay, we do have a deficit of power right now, so let's go ahead and just. I'm just going to put down. I'm put down some solar panels. Just because I don't have, uh, I don't have the machine parts to do anything else at the moment. And these uh, six panels should counter uh, anything that we're getting as well. Um, infirmary's not working, elevator's not working, infirmary needs to be working. Not enough workers there, okay. I'm going to turn off my security post, actually. I should put these folks into other buildings. I don't think I need security at this point for a renegade. Let's see. Yeah, no renegades. I'm good. Comfort in the dome is 50. So we definitely need to get uh, it up to 75, I believe, for berths. No, 55. Um, we've got more things being researched over here. And uh, yep, this video is being recorded well before Milestone episode three achieved. came out. Boom, science. Um, working on soil adaptation, and I was realizing between recordings of videos, I don't actually need this done right away. If I want to do food a little bit faster, I could absolutely do something else, mainly the ranch. The ranch is inside a uh, dome. You have an outside ranch as well, but they both need machine parts, so it's kind of a moot point. So I'm going to keep using the uh, hydroponic farm for the moment. It's not a long-term uh, solution. But let's go ahead. Nice com satellite. There's going to be any rare metals to send you, so I'm going to go ahead and go that way with it. I'm not sure why I brought these guys down here. I do have my RC constructor doing his thing on the in the underground. Let's actually see how much is down here for us to look at. That's what I need to do. Let's see, we have electronics here, polymers here, food, metals, a lot of polymers and metals. So I'm actually going to, and this is a completely moot point, because I'm, as I'm doing this, I'm like, oh yeah, I'll just totally, uh, even put that one in the right spot. I'll send it upstairs, but I'm not able to do anything until I actually get some cash in, uh, in flow right now. Sector scanned. Yeah, we're getting a lot of anomalies down here, and I can't even touch them until I get some machine parts. This is my... Okay, that may work. I cancel that project. This actually may be the solution for the moment. No, I can't actually because that one is producing way too much power for me. Also, um, as I'm going through this right now, I'm, like I said, this is being recorded uh, well in advance. This is being recorded Thursday morning. Um, my 10 month old daughter tested positive for COVID yesterday. Uh, that'll be Wednesday. Um, I mentioned when I posted that on Twitter, and I believe I posted that on the channel on Friday, that the channel schedule is pretty much in flux right now. I've got no idea what's going to be coming out when at this point, because I don't know. Like, I really don't know what's going to be happening right now. Resources are low. We're producing food. That's good, but it's not a obviously it's not a long-term solution. Two and a half. Hmm. I 
can do that. Let's Research things complete. a little bit. Okay, we got farms done up. Um, as much as I want MIS, I need to do 3D machining. I need to get a machine parts factory up and running on the planet to start building up my own machine parts. So this is being recorded Thursday, and full disclosure, I have a scratchy throat right now. I may actually be positive at the moment. I got tested on Monday. I have an at-home test. I'll probably take it a little bit later on today. I am drinking plenty of tea, though. I'm resting as much as I can. It's just very, very frustrating that my wife and I spent two years. That's an awful trade. Uh, my wife and I spent two years being as safe as we can, you know, taking all the precautions, and we still got the damn virus in the house. So we're very frustrated. But my daughter, she had a fever for a couple days. It broke already, so she seems to be doing well. She has the cough, though. She has a little bit of a cough. All right, let's go ahead and turn you off. Yep, yeah. we're at that point now where the machine parts are gonna be the problem. Thankfully, this guy can dust these three. He doesn't need an electronic, and I'm guessing all the electronics are downstairs. Yep. Let me check something here. Damn, I need 99 million. That's an idea, too. I could dismantle a rocket. Dismantle a rocket for a temporary solution. Sector scanned. I think at this point I'm just gonna have to wait out the 3D machining. I'm gonna get 400 sponsor research here, so it's gonna cut down on the time a lot. Could also let me go into the planetary screen because there is this option too where you have the ability to contact one of these. Europrot calling us down. They got 33 to spare. Damn. In, in, in desperate, desperate resources. Yeah, you know, we came and uh, we requested help, and they said nope. Yeah, if we could get machine parts or anything from them, we could totally do it. But let's actually see if we can like trade technologies. They want medium dome tech. Do these guys too. This amount of training doesn't really do us much. I'll, I'll show you what I mean by these. So, water reclamation is this one. 940 research. I can do it in three days. And systematic training is here. They're trying to get, you know, 1,000 1, point techs for... You know, a 5,000 tech, which really pisses me off in this game, is that, like, you can do these things. Ooh, resources. Okay. Um, this resource one, the rest research progress. Damn, okay. I may actually beeline for a couple of those and risk, like, not having a lot of things going on in the colony for a little bit. Comfort is at 57, so we might be able to get a berth out of here. Uh, just point, drink plenty of tea right now to keep myself going. And right now it's just a waiting game. Uh, waiting to see, waiting for my daughter to feel better, waiting for me to see if I get sick, waiting to see if my wife gets sick. She's not showing any symptoms. Or at least she's not telling me she's showing any symptoms right now. Um, the person that we came into contact to that was COVID positive, they're feeling better. Um, they had a breakthrough case. If I get it, it's a breakthrough case. Obviously, my daughter not vaccinated because of the vaccine protocols and the whatnots. All right, let's go ahead, pop you guys out. Here we go. Put the drones, just put, uh, put these all into a nice little pile. No. Plenty of materials down here to get my hands on. 51 electronics. That's what's really got my eye right now. I'm trying to see. Wait a minute. Okay, we already got the Mars crowdfunding. That's what I was just thinking. 
There's Martian patents, actually. Could do Martian patents. Do that for 500 million. Order up a supply load of machine parts. Can't believe it took me that long to figure that out. Oh, man. Definitely, uh, I've been also not sleeping much because of, you know, worry with the virus and all that fancy jazz. All right, but at this point, it's really just a matter of letting the game run for a bit. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Somebody had a comment in the previous episode. This is in part two. Somebody actually put a really good idea out of putting a ramp down. A really, really tiny ramp, mind you, but putting a ramp down. Boom. It would require 300 waste rock, but I can build it. And hey, look, it's in the range of my domes. I think. Um, yay, we're actually now at 700, uh, 600 sponsor research. So we're able to get uh, Martian patents done a little bit faster. Are you guys seriously just out of range of this thing? There's also no waste rock here, okay. 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 Let's do this. Come down here. I'm gonna try this again. We'll start like here. I see a spot where it can work. Sector scanned. Perfect. It produces 60 waste rock. And there go the drones. I like it. All right, we're going to do an expedition. We're going to take five people for Project Chariot. And I'm not going to do Martian patents with that. I'm actually going to do MIS for this one. Because if it's 4,000 research, I want to get that one out uh, down as far as possible. Granted, the 500 million does make more sense to do that. So we'll do Martian patents. It's, again, not a very eloquent way of doing this, but it's a way I'm doing this to try keyword get these things taken care of. You are a commander. Let's go ahead and bring you over here. Bring my explorer up here. And once I get everything, uh, da -da 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 -da, once I get the colony stabilized, I'm absolutely going to do the um, missions for uh, this is still bugged with the game, is that we have five people listed as homeless or unemployed. They're on the rocket right now. That's one glitch in the game that still needs to be fixed. They're working on it, I hope. Well, that's cool. I've actually never watched the terraforming process go that quickly. All right, cool. Get your ass to work. Let me pull up my uh, app real quick, uh, my little YouTube studio app, because I want to give credit for the folks achieved. who did that. Boom! First Martian born. For the first time. I like it. Okay, this was from. Research complete. Anomaly analyzed. Sweet, thirty-five hundred research for it. So it got me ways through that one. Uh, this was from the so the comments were from Cat's Eye and Stainless Steel Fox One, uh, recommending I build the ramp there and deck plays the head on the bottom right that I have here, which I still did not move. I apologize. Um, the reason I actually have that there burned into the video is because I've seen YouTubers out there who have their stuff pirated and stolen. So if I have this in a location where and I've actually seen my stuff on another channel, I had to copyright strike it. Um, this here, it's pretty much a hey no. This is not your content. This is the, the perma burn in the video is actually there to make sure that the content is does doesn't get uh, pirated. Yes, this is a small YouTube channel, but yes, this is my work. This is the effort I'm putting into it, and I do feel some ownership of it. And I want to make sure that you know what I'm doing here is that's turned off too. Um, I want to make sure that our work here is being protected. Uh, let's go ahead, do an expedition here. We're not going to do Project Steed. Actually, no, we are going to do Project Steed. Five people. Go. There's a reason I'm doing it. It's mainly to protect the stuff I've created. Does it sound stupid? Yes. Is it stupid? Kinda. 
But cat's eye stainless steel fox, awesome idea. Anomaly we have built analyzed. a ramp. Right, we, oh wow, multiple breakthroughs are coming up. Let's go ahead. I'm going to keep going for the alien imprints now because we're now at 9%. So as I'm working up the Martian, the MIS, this is coming down a little bit too. So I'm trying to meet him in the middle a little bit. And once we get a machine part, which I can now do. I think 15 is plenty for this. All right, um, you're almost loaded up, so we'll gonna need another landing pad. I'm just seeing it right now. Really? How is this uneven terrain? Good lord, how badly did I mess up this map when I built it? Okay. Wow, it's actually enough to produce a waste rock. Anomaly analyzed. Yay. I think actually putting it right there. That'd be kind of cool. Have them uh, segmented together like that, almost like a piece of a puzzle. Actually, that works pretty good too. Putting it like that. God, Jesus wept. It's this little section right here, it's uneven. Anomaly yeah, analyzed. it's fine. 30 oh, metals, really? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to bring you over here. Mm. That's a problem. I need to be producing food. But we'll go ahead. We'll get this built up. And you need to head over to here, please. These machine parts are going to be critical. Um, this, oh, actually, this is the best landing pot uh, spot now for both domes. So I'm going to use this guy here. I'm going to put him actually at the back yeah. one. Ooh, sweet, found some metals. Put a fuel depot back behind this. And then we'll get the metals offloaded. Building a new home on an alien. That's the spirit. There we go. That was odd. Alright, and we'll send this one off to do some drones. There's a drone mission over here with Yukon. We'll send him off there. I'm going to rename this one to Naga 2 because Naga 1 is also on the way. Anomaly analyzed. It's not letting me do it. Interesting. Alright, go here. Get those materials off the rocket as soon as possible, please. <laughs> Alright, now... Oh, I can't even do transport cargo right now. Let's go ahead... I'm gonna load up a bunch of polymers here. Turn off auto mode, because I got a plan for them. Now, if I go into here... Oh, damn, I need self-sufficient lighting. So my plan is, with self-sufficient lighting, is to actually Anomaly use the analyzed. RC constructor to build all of the uh, tripods. Analyzed. Okay, we got one more. That should be 18. I think we're at 18% everywhere now. Yep, all right, one more. Okay. You got that going. You've got your machine parts offloaded. Good. Running with a deficit at night, which is okay. It's also because the uh, elevator's running Anomaly right now. Analyzed. There's okay. Holographic scanning, Mars Nouveau, Creative Reality, AGM, Martian Network, Martian Copyrights. Okay, yeah. Look how far we are down here. This is good. 
And there's the deep scanning. So let's queue up deep scanning also. How much of these guys over here? Gonna need to go for these guys at some point with these extractors. Let's start putting them to use. Alright, we're almost done scanning that stuff, and then we're gonna grab these three breakthroughs that we can see. I also see that this is glitching here. Oh, bugger. That's a problem. I actually need to be on the subsurface heating because I still haven't built that yet. And slap a couple down here. Okay. Three days for a cold wave. Right, they, they actually have a nursery in place for them. Got 12 residences available here. Let's go ahead and order up another passenger rocket. Why is it letting me... Huh. Specialization. Tourism. No. Why do I have tourists here, though? Oh, wait, wait. I don't know what's going on with it now. Okay, filter, perks. Encouraged. Now, if I go back into here, there should be no tourists popping up. Boom, love it. Um, I'm actually going to... We need one officer, engineers. We need a geologist right now, but I need scientists. You want to launch with that. Um, okay, cool. We got our drones back. You can head back with what you got. Which is nothing. Wrong address. Interesting. Alright. Several supply pods in orbit have signaled the readiness to execute guided landing procedures. The supply pods are not our own. They belong to one of our rivals. Uh, seems a bug has caused the navigational software to contact our colony instead of Brazil's. We blink, steal the cargo, but we won't be able to feign ignorance of the fact the supply pods were theirs. Um, I'm absolutely going to take the supply pods because I know what's in the supply pods. Electronics and machine parts. Booyah! Scanned. Let's absolutely get those machine parts right now. Discovered. Ooh! Um, this is a really good one. Superconducting computing converts unused power into research points. Very helpful. Very, very helpful. But we have to get subsurface heating done up first. Go ahead, demo you. Go down to you. Have you grab the next breakthrough. Ooh, I know what I was going to do. Nope, you actually need to bring those up back. Let's go ahead and bring those Cold up. Cold wave approaching. Use him. We're going to go ahead and unload those polymers right there. I'm thinking about maybe slapping an art store down here. Because that would actually increase comfort within the dome. A small art store right there. It's going to be a happy little art store. Send him on auto mode. He's going to be busy for a while. Alright, hey, hey. Not, not hey, hey. This guy's smart. His thing. Let's actually see what our standing is with Brazil. They're probably pissed at us. Wow, went down to three. I think I lost 20 or 25 standing with them on that. Whoops. You are loaded and ready to go. I don't have any materials to send up with you. Let's do that. Yeah. Breakthrough discovered. Ooh, this is actually another good one. Resilient vegetation halves the water and temperature requirements of grass, bushes, trees, and open farm crops. Uh, meaning that I can actually, I, I, I can get stuff growing a lot faster, excuse me, in outdoor farms. My plan with this scenario, and I was thinking about this uh, between uh, videos yesterday and today, is, sorry, I'm a little burpy right now, I do apologize, folks. Um, get the mystery resolved, and then I'm going to show you the like a super fast way to get 
everything on this planet up to 100 across the board. So we're going to be doing a lot of like global wildfire stuff, and it's also going to be, hey, you say you do all this extra stuff too. I do need to get the subsurface heating research done first, so that's why I'm not uh, pivoting and doing anything else right now. Uh, let's see, we have the rocket here. Yay, welcome to Mars. I am also going to put down a single uh, living complex. Breakthrough discovered. Nocturnal adaptation, another good one. All colonists gain plus 20 performance during New night shifts. Colonists have arrived. Now let's go big time zoom out. Go here. Europe is offering the stupidest of trade routes. Actually, no, the Russian one was the stupidest of trade routes. 50, 50 electronics for 250 food, I think they said. That's a bad trade. Okay, four officers, five medics. I don't think I have either of those right now. And six officers. Wow. They really want officers for these things, don't they? Colonists. Let's see. Yeah, I have one officer. So that's not going to help. Uh, we got the cold wave coming in a couple of days. My water... Actually, I'm doing good on water. No, oh, wow. Five... Production's demand is 4.3, we're producing 5. <laughs> you probably turn off one, probably Sector turn off the fuel scan. refineries actually. Um, just put a heater down right here in this little spot next to this guy to keep it up and running, keep this all warm. If you haven't done so already, let's go ahead and polymer blade both these guys. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the bar Compact hangers and cargo modules. So these, these are the um wonders right here it's soul 38 by the way and now we're just waiting for breakthroughs on the bottom ground where's our rcc constructor he's grabbing stuff down here good bringing the useful materials back to the colony we still did not get martian institute of science we still did not get 3d machining done but they're getting cheaper and cheaper which is helpful as well um what's going on downstairs all right, we had a cave in. in a spot where I can't even get to initially. Okay, good talk. Cold wave approaching. Today was a tough one. Okay, we lost a founder due to Research old age. Complete. There we go. Subsurface heating is done. Let's go ahead, slap down a couple subsurface heaters, right there. Right there. And right there. Okay. Now we're going to turn these two off for the time being. These guys need to all get maintenanced. This guy needs it right away, actually. Hygroscopic Vaporators is here. We actually use that to increase the water production on those things. And this is mainly to keep this guy from freezing, so we can actually bring his radius in very small. This guy may be able to turn off, actually. I don't know if I'm going to need him. Research complete. Perfect. MIS is done. Let's go ahead and get that built. Once the Hawking Institute is built, we'll actually decommission the research lab. Okay, we're running a deficit on water, which is okay because it's not much of a deficit at the moment. Now, let's go ahead. You have 11 drones assigned to you. You need like 6 max. 12 here, 7 here, boom, 12 and 12. Alright. I don't think I'm going to need this rocket for anything, but I'm going to keep him in play for now. Just have him available, ready to go. Another quick, another... Huh. Okay, we need to be ordering up metals and polymers from down here. that. Uh.
This is what I don't want to stay in with the, uh, with the metal, or with the elevator, is how we can just automatically transfer stuff. We also have 30 food that needs to be taken up top. Uh. It also says 40 here. Okay, what the heck is going on here? Okay, that's weird. I'll, I'll figure it out eventually. Um, we're also going to deal with the cold wave in the next video. reason I say that is I'm at the 30-minute mark. We've got pretty much at the fortified point where we should, keyword, be okay. But I'm actually going to put down one extra... Sector scanned. Uh, da, 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 one extra power accumulator. I'm going to tuck him in somewhere. Just so we have a little bit of extra power production, or a little bit of extra battery backups during this. We've got the polymers, we've got the concrete for it. This guy's going to get turned back on. He's going to get some maintenance for that. Cool. We got this working here. Let's go ahead and demo this guy. Now we're producing some science. And there is our cold wave kicking in. And we're still running with a surplus. That's a good thing. I'm going to put a cut in here, though. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.